So what are some of the earliest bands you saw? I know you were a big uh, fan of Rose Tattoo. Well, I'll tell you that, I'll tell you, look, I, 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 you know, I got into the bands very early, seven, I was seven when I really started to get really hardcore into it, because my dad was a music. But, you know, I really didn't, uh, and, you know, I, I remember seeing some good players and, and great bands, you know, I was a Deep Purple fan, but, I, you know, I, I actually started off listening to Chain and the Lardy Guys and then went into Deep Purple and all this sort of stuff, Led Zeppelin. But, you know, it wasn't really until the Sex Pistols hit the scene that I said to myself, hey, I can do this and I'm going to be in a band and I'm really going to leave Wollongong, I'm going to go to Sydney and I'm going to be a rock and roll star. That's what made me want to do it. Right when sure. I got to when I got to Sydney, the bands that really blew my mind were you know Rose Tattoo was one. Um, there was another band in Sydney that were really pivotal in in, in influencing me, and it was and you probably don't even know them, and not many people would. They were an underground band that got banned from just about every venue they played. They they were banned from so many venues that in the end they only had two places to play, so they 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 had to break up. They were called Rats Banda. And if you look it up and you Google it, you'll only find one thing about Rats Bander, and it's a poster in the Australian Art Gallery. But um, Rats Bander was like... Do you remember that band, Jimmy and the Boys? Ignatius Jones, sure. Well, you know, Rats Bander made Ignatius Jones look like a choir boy. Oh, he was the most outrageous front man I have ever seen in my whole entire life. Nobody beats Rats Bander. You know, he was way, way above anybody, you know. He was, uh, I, I wish I knew whatever happened to that guy because he was just insane. He was absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like it. You know, he was a big influence on my, my future as far as, because he was very, you know, he was very that sex-orientated type thing like the Candy Harlots ended up being, but he was probably even more full-on. Okay, very visual, because I was going to say, you, you must have taken something from the people you saw into um, what you became as a front person, particularly for oh. Soggy Porridge and then later with the Candy Harlots. Well, the, 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 I've thought back at that, a lot of stuff that, that influenced me, and I, I often thought, where did I get these ideas from? And, and, you know, it's all when you're growing up, and, you know, I, was, I sort of introduced, I guess, you know, I was introduced to a lot of seedy stuff as a young kid, and... You know, it really messed my head up, I guess. You know, and um, and then, you know, I went and got in the punk scene and I saw people like Rats Bander and then, you know, I lived in Darlinghurst. So, you know, after you go and see a band, you go and see a drag show, you know, or go to a gay bar and watch a drag show. And, 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 you know, I learned a lot from watching these drag shows as well. I mean, they were very... They were... In, as far as entertainers went and outrageousness, they were outrageous. Man. They were insane. And, you know, another one that I, I, I always quote as a big influence is, do you remember Divine? The big fat tranny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well I went and saw Divine at the old Kinsella's up in Darlinghurst and, and he got up on stage. And, you know, his whole act consisted of, of basically picking on people in the audience and, and totally hanging crap on them. And I thought, wow, wouldn't that be cool in a rock and roll sense? Everything that I saw, like I thought, drag, drag shows, and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool in a rock and roll sense? And, you know, wouldn't that be cool? And, you know, and I, and I just started gathering all these references that weren't in rock and roll. They were actually in, you know, the, the, the public, the, you know, the gay scene, really. And 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 this all, I mean I I'm pretty sure Rats Bander was probably gay too, but you know that they, they were just so outrageous. And I just said nobody's ever done this in rock and roll. I'm going to do it, and that's and, how I got the idea. 